hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a five month update on Natalie and myself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off on everything that's happened with Natalie um, in the first five months of her life because a lot has changed and she's hit so many milestones so I'm going to go through all of that with you and then I'm going to talk about myself and how I've been over the last five months of being a new mum um, postpartum wise and everything like that <laughs> so let's get on with the video so she's definitely hit her, a few of her milestones she has definitely started to find her voice and she has, <laughs> has a very squealy little voice when she wants attention she still does her normal cry when she wants like okay. feeding or changing but other than that when she's quite happy and content or when she's happy and content but just wants a little bit of attention she will squeal at me <laughs> um which i do find quite cute because it just shows that she's definitely growing as a person and getting her own little personality which is amazing um, another big thing is that she's actually started grasping really really well it's why i constantly have to have my hair in a bun because she pulls hair she'll pull on her clothes my clothes anything she can she will Ow. <laughs> like that she tries to pinch my hand <laughs> but it's fine i don't mind i don't mind <laughs> and she's definitely a smiley baby which i love um so going along with her grabbing this now is an amazing part because Things like her little teethers, she can grab onto them better. Um, little books, we got we got this big pack of like crinkly books, all different ones, and she loves them. They 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 have a little rattle as well, and she can obviously like hold it. Got little tags on as well, so these tags go straight into little Missy's mouth whenever she gets the chance. They go in her mouth, but it's good because she is starting to teethe as well. She's been dribbling a lot more. My fingers, her hands, her toys, her clothes, everything is going in her mouth and she's like biting down on them. So it just shows that she is starting to teethe. We haven't got any teeth yet and I can't really feel any teeth. This is one of her favourite toys. You show them? this is her favorite toy it's just this little rattle which has got teething bits on the top that she can chew on so this is brilliant as well because the little bars are small so it's easy for her to grab which is really good no no teeth are appearing yet and i can't feel any but she's definitely showing all the symptoms of teething so that again that's another amazing milestone when she starts teething that's great um but yeah no teeth as of yet another really She's just dropped that on the floor. <laughs> so another really amazing couple of things that have happened. Um, first of all is she has actually doubled her birth weight. So she was born at six pound on the dot. She's now 12 pound and four ounces. So she's definitely doubled her birth weight. So I'm very happy about that. And another really, really big thing is that she rolled over for the first time from her back to her belly. Um, she still hasn't done from her belly to her back. I think that's more just a case of she gets her arms a bit stuck um, so, and gets a bit confused of how to adjust. So we are trying to encourage her to keep keep trying. Um, we're not pressuring her or forcing her to. We are just encouraging with a little bit more tummy time um, and a little bit more time on her play gym. And it does seem to be helping. She definitely like rolls onto her side but then just rolls straight back is mommy's finger tasty <laughs> is mommy's finger tasty <laughs> like i say everything goes in her mouth so yeah so she um she sat up for the first time unaided she did then fall to the side that's not a problem obviously because she is only five months so it's not a huge deal that she's not sitting up um unaided she's just taking her time with it and gradually 
gradually doing new things and hitting all these new milestones and it's just amazing to see like this little person who depended on you for everything who still does depend on you for everything but is slowly and gradually starting to learn to do certain things for herself like reaching out and grabbing the toy that she wants and just little little things like that and like getting her own voice and squealing when she wants your attention and things like that it's just amazing to see how she's slowly developing into like a proper little person with her own little personality and i love seeing that every day is just it's just an adventure Baby, babies are unpredictable and they are an absolute adventure with everything anything that they do that's new it's just amazing and brilliant even though she has doubled her birth weight and she is 12 pounds she is still fitting into some of her naught to three clothes yeah you are <laughs> so yeah um she's gradually starting to go into her three to six clothes but most of them are still naught to three although she's 12 pounds she's not like a big chunky 12 pounds so that's why she can still get away with fitting into some of her not three clothes even though she is five months another thing is that she has had her 16 week injections she actually had them when she was nearer to 19 weeks because there was a big mishap with her 12 week injections they actually booked her in a day early so we weren't able to have them so they got pushed back and therefore her 16 week ones got pushed back but she is all up to date now so that's good and she won't need any more injections until she's a year old which i'm very happy about because i absolutely hated taking her for injections um obviously she was quite quite good at after the injections like she would just sort of sleep after them but the actual process of going and having them put needles in her it just wasn't wasn't nice was it no no it was she has finally been diagnosed with silent reflux she wasn't a sicky baby when she was first born i'd say she started to become a sicky baby when she was about 11 or 12 weeks old she's now been diagnosed with the silent reflux and she has got medication for it it does seem to be helping so we're just going to progress it there and then we will contact our doctor in a couple of weeks um to update them and see if there's any of medication we could try um, because the one she's got is a tablet that you dissolve but they can do liquid ones which I think would be better for Natalie so I am going to discuss that with my doctor but I think that's everything for Natalie's five month update so that's all good so what I'm going to do is I am now going to talk about my five month postpartum update So I've just put Natalie down so I can talk to you um, about my five month postpartum, um, just obviously just me and yourself, without having little Miss Natalie. You might still hear her in the background because she is laying next to me. I will just quickly say and give you a heads up, some of the stuff is a little bit TMI, but I just think personally for me, when I was seeing other people's five month postpartum update, it was something that I was interested in, so I'm just hoping it might help other people who are obviously going through the same thing. So after having Natalie, I had to wait until my first proper period, which I had in the February. I then went and got the coil fitted, the copper one, which is the non-hormonal coil. Um, it was a little bit uncomfortable having it fitted, but personally for me, I just think it was the best choice of contraception. Um, since having that fitted, I have now had two more periods since then. They have been heavier and they have lasted longer. For me, they haven't been more painful. It is just the case that they are heavier and lasting a lot longer so before natalie my periods lasted between five to seven days now after natalie and having the coil fitted they are lasting more like seven to 14 days so it is quite a long period but they're not as painful and for me it was just the best contraception choice for me and my partner obviously we discussed all of the different types of contraception so we discussed condoms and the pill but neither of them were really neither of us were leaning towards them 
I did have the injection before having Natalie, so I was partly leaning towards that again, but that can impact your fertility. Whereas with the non-hormonal copper coil, once you have that taken out, your fertility goes back to normal. So it was between them two, but I definitely feel that the non-hormonal copper coil was the best decision for me and my family. So I have been, probably for the past month, I have been a little bit sleep deprived purely because Natalie went through that four month sleep regression and it is a real thing. I'd never heard of it, but it is. Her sleep pattern was completely out the window. She was waking up every few hours just making noises and crying for no reason. She didn't need anything. I'd always, you know, check her bum, see if she was hungry, see if she was biting and her teeth were hurting. It was nothing, it was just a case of she would wake up babbling to herself and she would want to stay awake for at least an hour or two, so that was quite difficult. We do seem to be getting back on track with her sleeping now. She goes to bed. <laughs> That's her little squeal that she's developed. <laughs> so yeah, she goes to bed between seven and eight and then she normally wakes up between six and seven and that's her up for the day another thing that would be a little bit tmi but it's something that i have been going through obviously since having natalie um and having the coil fitted me and my partner obviously have been having sex um it has been still quite uncomfortable not painful or sore just a little bit uncomfortable um, I am going to be speaking to my doctor about this. Unfortunately, I can't really go and actually have an appointment with my doctor at the moment. Just purely because of everything going on with the coronavirus, it's not easy to go and just chat with your doctor about that. So, unfortunately, I can't get an appointment. So, I will be waiting until all of this is blown over and be able to go and get an appointment and speak about it properly in the meantime i will actually be contacting my health visitor and speaking to them i actually read something saying that your uterus and your cervix and everything like that doesn't actually go back to normal until about 16 weeks postpartum so obviously i was waiting till that point and um, just letting things see how they all went and see how it progressed Unfortunately, like I say, it is still a little bit uncomfortable and I am about 20 weeks postpartum now, so five months postpartum and it still hasn't really changed. So I will be speaking to a health visitor and just seeing what they suggest before trying to actually get a doctor's appointment. Last but not least, I have actually started working out again. I now feel a bit more comfortable with being able to work out and go for like a jog or doing yoga and ab workout so I have been starting to do that again um, I started it last Monday and I've been doing it three times a week and I will be continuing it this week I've been eating a little bit healthier but my main thing was that I wanted to start working out just to feel fitter and healthier in myself and try and get back to my pre baby body so I have lost my like pregnancy weight, so I am back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Just obviously my body has changed a bit, like my hips are bigger, my legs are bigger, my tummy's not exactly as flat as it was. So I will show you what my body looks like, obviously post-pregnancy, and I will talk to you a little bit about the types of things I want to do to improve my body. This is my belly, it's obviously front on doesn't look too bad and then that's my belly side on so obviously I've just got a little bit of a mum tum which I would like to tone that up I'd like my waist to come in a little bit more and my hips here just to be a little bit more shaped and toned more than anything so I will be trying to do that but yeah I think that's that's everything for me and Natalie. I hope you enjoyed our five month update and I will see you in next week's video. And I will also be doing monthly updates from now on with me and Natalie. So I will see you in next week's video and then I will see you in next month's update. Thanks. Bye.